Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over and above Microsoft rolling out our May Patch Tuesday update for Windows 10, I also noticed this morning, um, after applying the update, that another update was installed, which is a familiar update. And this is update for Windows Update Service Components, KB5001716 which Microsoft um, rolls out from time to time. And the last time this update was installed on my system was back in March, KB5001716. And unfortunately, when it did roll out about two months ago, it caused a major issue where it was failing to install with the dreaded error 0x8007064 uh, for some users and I'll leave that video in the end screen if you'd like some more info but fortunately for um, my system this morning it did successfully install like it did the last time so hopefully um, you don't face a error because Microsoft did fix the issue with this update uh, previously so we hope it doesn't cause any more uh, you know errors failing to install and so on now just a bit of background regarding this update over and above Microsoft pushing this out from time to time the update is automatic and will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device uh, your device does not require a restart and it really takes a couple of seconds to install and then over and above the update installing what it does install is a little tool so if we head over to our apps in the settings apps and features if we scroll down this list uh, you can see also here on the 15th of May which was today it installs update for Windows 10 and there's the update it installs this little app little package which does a couple of things on your system which we're going to look at now so what this update includes according to Microsoft is a new user interface UI functionality for Windows update in Windows now I'm not seeing that so they mention that with this update every time it rolls out, but I'm still not seeing that. Everything looks the same. But um, a note about this update, when this update is installed, even above installing this little app, Windows may attempt to download and install feature updates to your device if it is approaching or has reached the end of support for your currently installed Windows version. And obviously Microsoft uh, mentions feature updates offer new functionality and help keep your device secure. Now I did post that Windows 10 21H2 Education and Enterprise Editions will be ending support soon. So this could be a reason why Microsoft is pushing this update out to basically um, start pushing those Enterprise and Education Editions up to a newer kind of version of Windows uh, 10 or possibly if the, the OS and the, the device supports the system requirements to, to the requirements to run Windows 11 up to Windows 11 and something else um, that is noted about this update is after it is installed Windows may periodically display a notification informing you of problems that may prevent Windows update uh, from keeping your device up to date and protected against current threats so as an example Microsoft says that you may see a notification informing you that your device is currently running a version of Windows that has reached the end of support life cycle, i.e. Windows 10 21H2 Enterprise and Education as an example, or that your device does not meet the minimum hardware requirements for the currently installed version of Windows. So that's basically what this update is all about. It's an update for Windows Update Service Components. And um, as mentioned, the last time this update rolled out uh, back in March, it did cause major issues for users so we certainly hope that that is not the case this time around but just bringing it to your attention and um, over and above our patch tuesday uh security update that rolled out which i'll leave in the end screen we also get kb5001716 which microsoft now is pushing out to windows 10 once again so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one